Hey guys, Chris here with a box opening. So this is the uh, first time we're doing anything Dragon Ball related. Um, we're just here to nag. Yeah, we're here to nag. We bought two boxes. Uh, well, actually, kind of we bought three, but we opened that one already. So this one is Destroyer Kings, and we also bought set two because we wanted to nag a lot. And I just wanted a few things out of set two. So, um, we're just gonna open this box. Well, first, I want to keep doing this until you finally do it. Kyle Juice, sponsor me. Okay, stop. <laughs> let's, let's just open the damn box. I, I'm serious, I want Kyle Juice to sponsor me already. No more Kyle Juice. All the Kyle Juices. No more Kyle Juice. Uh, put the box, like... Child's the package like, who keeps selling me Kyle Juices. Like, actually open it like a store product. I don't know how store products do anything. Oh, these are a lot more funky. Come on, you could do it. They're a lot stronger than the Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. I can't just flip it off. Is it? Oh yeah, promo codes. Promotion. Get in there. Get Wait, more. is this the... This is the seven drop I was talking about. Oh, that's the one I need, yeah? Yeah, that's one of the ones you needed. You also need Dude. drops. Um, so you get a promo. Cool. When you buy a box, I think this one does too. And you get the stupid leader. I don't know. I, really I don't, don't think care. it matters. I don't know. Uh, this card's kind of cool. Got it. But only things that really matter in here are the two Seeker Rares, which is a Broly and a Boo. I'm not even going to pull it. So, uh, I've nagged a lot from this set already. So uh, one thing that's nice about this, you're also guaranteed at least one foil. But these packs are more of a pain in the ass to open. But oh, you can do it. It's doing it so fine at Beckman's. Yeah. We're not at Beckman's. And... We already nagging. Where's the fun cards? And a four drop Frieza. I see that. So this is what rares look like in this game. Um, if anything like major pops up, I'll actually talk about it. But nothing really exciting in this thing. The most exciting card was actually just a common, which was the Vegeta. Carrying on. Um, shout outs to Agent of Destruction being an actual rarity now. Also, that's nice is like commons like this, they'll also come foil, but you have to pull them still. I think that's actually the foil one. No, it's not. It looks foil, but it's not. Uh, shout outs to Boo. They're just actually kind of entertaining for the most part. And the H op. This is an SBR. There will be certain cards that come out, and they get alternative arts. Dude, that actually looks great. I love the golden black. So do I. I have the SBR Broly that, for my Aatrox. What's the price on that? Um, I, I don't remember. Um, I'll be playing that one of mine, mine though. So you, you can have That's uh, not make piles. That's actually like... Well, yeah, maybe later. We'll clean it up in a bit. We'll clean it up. I always forget how wonky. Uh, shoutouts to this attack power. I can't- I kinda like... It's sad that he's weaker when he fuses with Satan. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, it's hurting. What do you expect? Uh, shoutout to actually a good side deck card in this game. Shoutout to Bojack, Dude. the person everyone forgets about. Like, the Bojack deck actually isn't horrible. Uh, the leader has like the best awakening effect is when your life is far or less you may flip this card over That's it How much Yu-Gi-Oh packs today? So many packs not enough packs shout out to the worst dad in Dragon Ball history Arius and he's trying shout out to bald man Shout out to the guy who flipped off Janemba. It's, uh, if you've ever seen the original Dragon Ball movie, you, you'll understand. Not the original one, but like the original one with Go Gogeta in it. Which was... I don't remember what it was called. Fusion Reborn, I think. Uh, just throw the empty, empty packs on the floor. We'll make them look later. Yeet. Shout out to this fucker card. This card shuts down on anything hand destruction. And I hate it with a fucking passion. Good card. 
shout out to the thing that this card stops victory strike victory strike literally says if this card would inflict damage to you you win ah it's it's a uh, kind of like victory dragon but it's just ko yeah it's it's stupid i, I hate it so, but this card can shut it down which is kind of nice um so as i was saying earlier commons can come foil as well this Dude. is one of them um this card's usually common but it came foil as well i want it i'm actually holding on to it and a six drop i want it <laughs> Uh, sorry about the camera angles. Uh, still trying to figure that stuff out. Trying to get an actual rig for recording. This is the, like, the only stall deck I, that gets annoying. Chile. Plot leader. Bad cards. Did I hear plot? This pack was kind of ass. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see that card. I don't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one for uh, Broly. I think so. Uh, just like, let's, okay, hold uh, on. If you, you, you leave. Okay, so we separated the two. Uh, foils here, bulk there, whatnot. Just so it's a little bit cleaner. It'd be nice if we can get at least one god, god pack. Actually, wait, can you spread them out? Kind of? Yeah. Probably. More or less. More or less. Something really exciting. Yeah. Dude, uh, that's cool. This is for the stall. It's for Red Frieza. It's kind of like stalls out. It does cool. This card is actually not bad. If you're someone someone's a battle card with 30,000 or less power, uh, just your opponent takes four life. The one thing I like about Dragon Ball packs is there's like, I'll show it on the next one. There's like a little tear on them, so it's easier to like rip them open. Bojacks, cards. Uh, shout out to like one of the weirdest wordings I've ever read. Shout out to like the most annoying card to summon in this fucking game. If you have to hard drop it, so that means you have to have eight energy to do so. But cool card, I like it. Need effect, but I can't really remember. The show what I was talking about. There's like this little tiny tear right there. Yeah. Most other. TBS players already know this, so... Yeah, but these are typically Yu-Gi-Oh players. You're right, you're right. Most of these cards are just, like, not really worth talking about. Um, shout out to the guy who like, accidentally got a foil of the sub when they were, like, 12s for free. Because I thought this card was shit. And I reread it, and it was still shit. Good card, though. Hey, a third one. Foil. Cool. Ah, uh, what the fuck is that? Um, this is for the vanilla deck. It, like, I think it's, like, summons a vanilla from Grave. No, that's, like, okay. Pelham. I can't remember what this fucking card does. Dude, I don't even know meta. I used to for a while, then I stopped caring. I just played Had an Instruction Broly for, like, the longest time. And my brain just goes, oh, you're playing meta? Sure, what, what? Fuck your hand. What's a hand? I don't know. This card's good in that deck. I actually hate this card with a passion. So... On summer, it looks, it looks at the top, I want to say five, no, top seven cards among them adds a vanilla. But when your Sun Goku youth leaves the battlefield, you KO a card. And I choose when you combo with it. So you can combo with a Goku and just pop a card for no reason. It's actually really annoying. Also, shout out to the Krillin I was literally just talking about. But it's Krillin summon summons a vanilla from Grave. That's kind of cool. Cool. Dude. So many cards in a box, man. There's like 24 cards a pack. Dude, what the f Konami, take note. <laughs> Shout out to the leader that literally got eroded to fucking hell. Why? Um, so this cards are old effect on the Awakened side used to be, uh, you remove seven drag- If you have 20 cards in your graveyard, you can sh banish seven Dragon Balls in your grave, shuffle back 20 cards from your grave back into your deck, and then skip your opponent's next turn, and then you unawaken them. Uh, but now it's say you have to shuffle back 30 battle cards. And it's just, it's just literally an unplayable leader now. Got to. Bibbity. That's cool. Lord Slug. This is the Age of Destruction we're already talking about. Uh, so this is a basic rare. 
which is just, it just looks like a shard foil card. There's a pop-up, well, the Age of Destruction's have sort of like a more, I want to say darker tone to it, it's hard to explain, I guess, so. Um, what I'm personally trying to get is the Agent of Destruction Broly. They're like, almost 300 right now. Uh-huh. I know. Oh, I think it's a God Pack. Yeah, it is. So, God Packs is when you're, everything's pretty much a rare in the, in the pack. Dude, what? Yeah, so everything here is going to at least be a rare. Come on, honey, take note. Oh, only card that matters. Why? It's a fuck. So this is when you got turned into a piece of candy by Boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo Vegito for Smash. For Smash? For Smash. <laughs> Insane six drop. Cool. Three drop, six drop, Boo, this thing, and some Boo card. Card pack. Everything here's a rare. The hell? Okay. I wanted at least one god pack and... How many god some. packs are in the box? We're not guaranteed them. Really? I think it's for all randomized. Huh. Don't care about your trash. I love you. Wrong Broly. Broly's like kind of cool still, but it's kind of shit. I love it. But it's a shit card. Broly's one of my favorite villains, so I play Broly a lot. Ah, couple of the pack, man. Right? Yeah. If it doesn't contain the Agent Destruction, Broly, or the Boo, it's literally shit to me. That's my Bulma. That's my Bulma. More of that stupid Boo from earlier. Why is that stupid? I don't know. Because the key thing is the, it's the Agent Destruction Boo. Like, is it though? No. It's like a eight drop or something. I can't, it, it like lowers its drop rate. I can't remember what it does. I just remember its big effect. This is the Vanilla Leader. So, to explain this, this side you uh, reveal a four star ball, draw a card. And then you, if there's a Vanilla Grave, it awakens a six life. Awaken side, you can reveal a four star it's like draw two or discard a card. When he decides to discard, decides just reveal draw two. Yeah, this is draw two, discard one. And then there's a one drop Goku that the deck plays. It says once per turn you get out a four star ball from your deck or grave to hand. So you just, just draw two cards for no reason. Um, this card. That card. That card. Not the right one. Bulmas. Huh? I want to collect bonus. All the bonus. There's a lot of bonus cards in there. Exactly. Game. That's why I want to collect them. The Jeets. Card's kind of cool. Some, it's, it's, it's Dark Hold and summons a uh, Broly from uh, like a 6 drop or a 4 drop or a lower Broly. Oh, hey, a foil 4 drop bully for my deck. And Chile. I want the Chile. <laughs> I want the plot. She was played for a while. She, she's actually kind of cool with the Broly leader. All I know is that it's plot. If someday you're going to say plot so much, people are going to know what you're talking about. That's the point. I'm just waiting for Dad to find out. <laughs> no. Yeah, best leader in the game. Not really. But when your life is 4 or less, you may flip this card over. Okay. And all its awakened side effect does from its other side is it lets you combo with your uh, Bojack cards in rest mode. The Bojack squad. Great Soul Charity. How do you how do you think DBS players are gonna understand Yu-Gi-Oh references? They don't. Okay. Uh Janemba. Two foils though, that's cool. Yeah, the Age of Destruction one's kinda cool. It's actually kinda good in the actual Janemba deck. I don't know what Janemba's kind of Entertaining. It mills your opponent out. Going against Super Shunner with that deck was kind of a pain in the ass. I loved it. If life is four or less. Flip this card over. I say it every single time I get I play this card. Oh. Got the T 
two guys. Two bullet brains. This one goes into this one. And this one, huh. this one's cool. Good card. That's how you fuck up Boo. Why? I, I don't know, I just don't like Boo. I don't understand why people love Boo so much. No, oh, no oh foil. I call this Instagram Goku. Instagram? I, I just, I don't know why, Instant Transmission is just Instagram Goku to me now. I have about four packs left. Yeah, four packs yeah. plus the one I'm holding, so five. So five packs, after this. Well, four. Whatever. Not foil. It looks foil though. I know. It bothers well, me. I mean, at least it doesn't look bad as a common. That's true. Man, that man, that reason. Vecu looks like it had the life sucked out of him. Well, you have the good blowjob, dude. I know, right? Lucky bastard. I know, right? Got all you got! Every time I see Super Saiyan Goku, all I hear is fucking Dragon Ball Legends now. You like that? Okay. No, I don't I like that. This is the Gogeta leader, but it's foil now. Wait, 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 wait. I want it. No. I want it. I want it. I want it. I have the deck belt. I... Don't have the deck belt. I still want it. <laughs> Another Instagram Goku. Also, shout out to the car the Paragus I haven't pulled yet. Nah, you don't need Paragus. He's, he's an abusive father. Shout out to the Paragus I just pulled. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> this card's actually insane. When you play this card, you actually pull a control mechanism from your deck, and then you can send it, himself, and another battle card you control to the graveyard to add a four, six drop or lower Broly. All the Broly's trigger when you send it to the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. How and many then, do you have? This is my. This makes the second play set. Dude. And the play set in this game is four. Oh, yeah, I know how much a play set is. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Shout out to the $300 Broly I haven't pulled yet. Let's see if I can do that again. Uh, no. Wait, wait, it's actually 300 275 What the hell? Did... Nope. Nope. Oh, Jack. Nope. Cards I don't want to read. Last pack from this set. Have you plus yet? No. No. I mean, the good SBR Gogeta is kind of cool. Nah. Shout out to the four star ball, and then my last card is an ancient destruction fuck face. Start this video talking about Bojack, end this video with a, talk with a Bojack. That's cool. Yeah, the. Not oh really well. I cared for. I mean, a few foils I was okay with, I guess. Ball okay, so. That was our first DBS box opening. We're gonna do a quick re like look through whatever of. Uh, what we pulled. Uh, so this game is a lot nicer to you when it comes to foils. Oh, by, by the way, we're, we're Yu-Gi-Oh! people. Uh, for the DBS people, that's just joining in with us. I want to start doing DBS and Yu-Gi-Oh! content because I like both of the games a lot. When you go to an extra, just like, slide, slide it down a little bit. Well, not that. I meant put the row down. Let's move it up now. Whatever. Dude, it sounds so satisfying when you put the cards down. I think I can actually build this deck now. Why? Because the only thing I was missing was four star balls, I think. I have too many of this fucking Broly. Hmm. It's gonna overlap. I mean, oh well. It's pretty. I need to rebuild the, uh... 
Double All I strike. care about Bravo. is that plot that you just covered. Where'd that plot go, man? Right here, because he's the only character that's plot in this entire fucking series. What? The only reason why people like Dragon Ball is Krillin, dude. Change my mind. They can't. Because there's double of them. Only card that matters. Pretty much. Dude, it looks so clean. I love the golden black, though. Um, I love SPRs. Uh, this card has an SPR. It looks fucking clean as well. The A-Trop Broly. Uh, this guy comes SPR. I've been wanting them. Uh, can't seem to fucking pull them for my life, and I hate it. Okay, well, that's... That's the box. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that clickbaity shit. If you love us, mail us a $300 Broly. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate. Just one? Four of them. I'm fine with this. You only need the one, but four of them. I'm fine with this. So am I. Okay, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'm out.